हरिदाता हरिभोक्ता हरि अमनम प्रजापति हरि विश्व सरि दृष्टु भोक्ते भोजते हरि हाय एवरीवन माय नेम इज जिया बोरा एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एसडीजी गोल नंबर 2 दैट्स जीरो हंगर एंड आई एम आरुषि टुडे वी आर डाइविंग इनटू एसडीजी नंबर 2 जीरो हंगर This goal aims to end hunger, achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture. So let's get started. Hey Arushi, this sounds so fascinating. So what exactly does zero hunger mean? Great question, Jia. Zero hunger means ensuring that everyone everywhere has equal access to food. It's not just about having having enough food to eat, but it's also about right kind of food to stay productive and healthy. I and audience we really believe in some data. So can you provide with some statistics that highlight this scale issue? Sure, I have recently saw some data. Nearly 690 million children were undernourished in 2019. That's almost 9% of the whole world's population and with the impact of COVID-19, these numbers have likely increased. It's a pressing issue that needs our attention. So Saying about the technology that is rapidly increasing nowadays, isn't it? Uh, how the innovations can help in this mission of zero hunger? Um, see, Jia, innovations play a very crucial role. For example, precision farming uses data to connect farmers with uh, mobile markets and crop yields. Biofortified crops are being used to optimize crop yields. So what are some success stories where these tips which you just mentioned have been successfully implemented there is several uh, success steps here yeah. hmm. one example is brazil's foam zero program which has successfully ended hunger and poverty through coordinated efforts in education and health another example is the adoption of drought resistant crops in parts of africa which has successfully ended hunger by increasing the crop yields Now I have told you about foreign countries. It's a great privilege to be an Indian, isn't it? So, can you tell me some key strategies taken by the Indian government? Um, yeah, sure, Arushi. India has taken several efficient steps towards the zero hunger. So, first step we have Shramik Annapurna Yojana. This fascinating program provides food grains to all the uh, food to the construction workers for just five rupees. Isn't that so cheap and amazing, Arushi? That's so cheap because healthy meals mean healthier workers who can work efficiently and provide better support. to the families yes the next step we have pradhan mantri annapurna yojana these schemes provide 81 crore subsidized food grains that ensures that everyone all over the india gets enough food to eat and do not sleep hungry but that's not all right india has other several strategies striding towards zero hunger so can you tell me some more uh yes arushi um next up we have um um Eat Right India Mission by FSSAI. This ensures everyone make the healthier their food choice, and nobody have to suffer for grains. You know, that's so great. <laughs> food fortification adds essential vitamins and minerals to staple food like rice, milk, and salt, improving their nutritional content. So let me provide you with some data so that you will easily understand that how many children in India are still suffering from malnourished. 80% of children all over the India do not consume any protein rich grains or protein rich oh. food somewhere around 40% do not consume any grain or millets and so shocking to know 6 out of every 10 children do not consume milk or any dairy rich product that's feel very shocking no that's so sorry to hear but you don't need to worry Government of India has taken several steps against the same. It has introduced a mid-day meal scheme, which improves nutritional content among children, boosting their enrollment and attendance. That's not all, Arushi. Our India has taken one more positive step towards zero hunger, especially for the children. Uh, that's um, Eat Right India Mission, like by ICDS. It is done. That is an integrated children development scheme. This ensures that every children, no matter going to school or not, gets enough food so that their future and education both is secured. But I have also heard about something else. Poshan Abhiyan, launched by the Ministry of Women and Child Development in 2018, targets to reduce stunting, 
under nutrition and anemia among young children women and adolescent girls that's so good right yes but our government of india has not only focused on the children but it is still focusing on the women and the pregnant women especially who are suffering from some diseases so government of india has ensured to provide a pradhan mantri matru varna yojana through which they are providing food grains to young children uh, newborn babies and lactic women so that they don't suffer from any malnutrition again in their future that's so great Mission Indra Dhanush targets mm-hmm. immunization for children and pregnant women against rare preventable diseases safeguarding their health. The National Food Security Act ensures 75% of rural population get subsidized food grains and somewhat around 50% of urban population that they food get food grains so that they don't focus to the rural areas only it is focusing all over the india no matter rural or urban so that there is a great food security in our india india's contribution to end hunger is vital by achieving food security we are we, can, we are making a big difference yes. so how can ordinary people like us contribute in the zero hunger cgia we uh, middle class people can contribute in a big way we can store food properly donate excess food and reduce food waste can uh, give a really big help and supporting programs that achieve food security we can make a big difference uh, i have heard some word about akshay patra have you yes can you tell me that what is it see i know Akshay Patra is an NGO run by the government of India which was in 2001 and this is still working on and it has really increased in a great success progression this ensures to provide food grains to roadside beggar so they don't turn liable to a country see i have heard that our school has also taken the initial steps against the same so can you tell me yes our school the reading international has taken great steps towards zero hunger every year our school organizes grain donation camp that ensures to provide little food to the people around us who are suffering from the food and we contribute our few thing a few percent towards the zero hunger i request everyone seeing the video today to take part in the grain donation camp that's held every year in our school and do your little bit of contribution towards india towards the poor needy people and we ensure we get zero hunger in our country so i hope you have found something to know in this video and just ensure you provide some food or extra food that you have every day you know that's waste instead of going in a dustbin make sure you provide to poor people around us well said jia that's all on today's episode of zero hunger we hope you find it informative and inspiring